Hi everyone, Anna here. So I'm just going to show you a really quick 20 minute DIY that you can do with an old microwave. This is a microwave that my husband and I bought um, two years ago when we first got married from a thrift store. It was about $10 and it does have a very outdated wooden look casing on it. It doesn't really match our decor. So we're just going to remake it here. And then you do need Lysol wipes, a pair of scissors, and you also need a screwdriver and then some contact paper. I did pick out this beautiful white marble just because it matches a little bit better and then I will you take the Lysol wipe and just wipe off all the dirt here. We want to make sure that the surface is nice and clean so that the contact paper sticks on it and there isn't any air bubbles or lumps underneath that contact paper. Right, and then you'll just screw off all of, well, you'll screw out all the screws. Um, make sure you set them aside. We definitely don't want to lose these. And then we'll just be pulling off this casing. It'll make it a lot easier to apply the contact paper. And it'll make it a lot easier to hide um, the fact that it is contact. Okay, and then here I'm just pulling off that outside casing. It was fairly easy to pull it off. It didn't take a whole lot of effort. Uh, my only concern was that it was bending a lot. So you just have to make sure you don't pull so hard because it is a fairly weak um, casing, so it might snap. And then, so once you get that off carefully, you just set aside the microwave. And then um, here I have the casing. And we're going to clean out the inside because the contact paper will also be touching the inside of this. And again, we want to make sure that it sticks nice and smoothly and stays in place. Alright, and then I'm just laying out this contact paper nice and flat. Mine did have a graph on the inside, so I was able to easily measure out how much that I needed. If you don't have this graph on the inside of your contact paper, I would recommend drawing in marks and measuring out how much you would need on the edges to make sure that you have enough contact paper to wrap around the outside casing. and then I'm just going to set this outside casing up on the side to make it a little easier to apply because we are going to move the contact paper from one side to the other to make it look like one smooth piece. And then here I'm just pulling off that back paper to reveal the sticky side of the contact paper. And then once you get most of that pulled apart, you just want to lay it out a little bit at a time because we don't want to get any air bubbles in here. Um, I was just fine using my hand, but it is recommended that you use a credit card or some type of other smooth service to make sure that you don't get any air bubbles underneath that paper. And then I am trimming off the edges to make sure that I have it just enough to wrap around. We don't want too much material underneath this microwave. And then we're just gonna fold that over and press it down smoothly. Um, I did notice afterwards on the inside here that there were these little clips here that help hold the casing in together. So I did have to cut those out, but you don't see it on the outside of the microwave when you're done. And then I'm just trimming this down and making sure that everything sticks smoothly. Um, another tip that I have was I had a problem with too much contact paper on this inside. It didn't wanna stick very well. 
so I did have to trim it down to a very slim piece so that it stuck more properly. All right, and then there's that finished outside casing. And then here I am just poking holes so that I know where my screwdrivers go. We wanna make sure that we have these holes prepared so that it's easier to screw the outside casing back into place. All right, and then there are these little air vents on the side and I'm just cutting some slits in here so that the air can continue to flow out of the microwave because we don't want to break our microwave. We just want to make sure that it looks really nice. And then I'm pressing down these leftover contact paper to make sure that their holes are still large enough for the airflow to come out of the microwave. And then I'm just using my scissors to make sure that's pressed down and really firmly. Um, if you have like a butter knife, that would work out a little bit better because I was cutting the paper a little bit as I was pressing it down. All right, and we're all finished with that outside casing and all we need to do is re-insert it onto the outside of our microwave. And then here I was just following the direction of the clips and it slid on fairly easily. I didn't have any problem with it. And then after you have that snapped in place, you just add the screws and you're all done. And then make sure you don't screw these too tight because it will cause the contact paper to wrinkle up as you can see here in the back. Um, so just make sure it's tight but not so much that you're causing your paper to wrinkle around the screw. Alright, and then that is the finished project. I do have a pumpkin on it because I created this video back in November, but I do hope that you enjoy it. And please let me know if you attempt to do this DIY yourself. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe my videos so I know if you guys like more DIYs. And please share a picture on how your microwave turned out. Thanks for watching.